So the breakout stars is Arsenal player there. That must be a mistake. Right. Let's see. I know the question most people ask is that I don't know who to get. Let me make this simple. Straight to the point. Think about who you need. Think about what position you need rather than who you want. For example, I like Ibra. I want to get Ibra. But I'm thinking about who I really need. I need somebody like Alaba. Is it Alaba? Alba. Why? Because he's super versatile. If you don't have a lot of legends, a lot of players are going to be out of form. He can play left back, right back, center back. Several different positions. So, as I was saying, think about who you need rather than who you want. I like Alaba because he can play left back, right back, center back, even defensive midfield. So, if you need somebody like him, get him. Don't get Haaland because he's a hype boy. You know what I mean? Personally, with me with Haaland, if I train Haaland, right, abilities that is on the red, I always try, key abilities, I always try to take it out of the red, make it orange. For example, I want to make his tight position at least 70, at least, but obviously that's still too low. Problem is with the balance, okay? Now, he goes to level 7, I know he goes to 96 rating, overall rating is in everything, individual ability matters. I have to give him almost all the progression points and I don't even think his balance will reach orange. Like if I want to make his balance at least 70, probably will take all the progression points. So for that reason, I'm not even going to touch the balance. In my opinion, if it's red, make it orange. If it's orange, make it green. If it's green, make it red. I personally did not see the difference between 80 and 89. Like nothing major difference. Could be just me though. I, I change things a lot. Maybe I will understand that more if I use the same players consistently in a way. Most of you guys do. So with Haaland, I'll make sure his acceleration is definitely, definitely 85 plus. Ball control, dribbling, tight position, 80 plus minimum, minimum 80 plus. Acceleration 80 plus minimum. Passing, I mean, if I could reach it to 70 maybe. Does he have one touch passing? I mean, he's fast enough to do that. So, uh, I might get Haaland because I do need a super sub. I like Ibra, but another another thing that a lot of you guys do, I get asked a lot about it. Know your players. Like, don't use Ibra in quick counter. Like, if I have Benzema, I would not use him in a quick counter. He's good. I like him. Probably use Benzema in position game, out wide, or long ball counter at least. I think Ibra could be decent with a long ball counter, for instance. With quick counter, you need fast, rapid players most of the time. So that's another thing as well. You want to stay consistent. Yeah, you might be using Benzema and Ibrahimovic in quick counter from Division 10 all the way to 3. But then you want to stay consistent after that. You got to use things that is effective as well, in a way. So really, for me, I mean, he's all right if you need a goalkeeper. Coutinho could be a decent dribbler. I feel like... It's kind of a mix between dribblings being capped or the defense is more automatic now. Kind of both. But you can still dribble. He's one of my favorite players, I have to say. So, honestly, it, I mean, you can get a five-star nominating contract for free playing five games against the computer. I kind of like him in real life. So, but I would rather get his base card, for example, so I can level him up exactly how I want. However, this isn't too bad. This isn't too bad. So, who would I get personally? I like Ibra, but I need a super sub. And you can't go wrong with Alaba. The only thing is, I have Alaba's standard card. And honestly, there isn't much difference between standard and featured. Sometimes one of them lacks a skill or maybe don't. I think legendary and in, in standard, for example, standard Neymar has a different skill from the legendary one. I think it's long range drive. So, if I have a standard card, Alaba... Why would I get him? Like, don't waste five-star nominated contract on a player that you can easily buy with GP. It makes sense if you get Haaland since he's like, what, 400,000 GP? Alaba's like, what, 200? 300? I think he's like 150, is he know? So in my opinion, my top three will be Haaland, Alaba, and I would say a goalkeeper if you need it. Rest of them, I would honestly say is personal preference and how you level them up. In which particular position you need. For him, he goes to eight more levels. I think uh, 
I would like that get that aggression to the green, hundred percent. Acceleration. I mean, he's a build up. Kind of needs a little bit of acceleration. Yeah, not for me. Unless you're really desperate. Unless you're really, really desperate. All right.